This is Ethel Red Eldridge. Born James Edward Leonard Eldridge in 1930, he has been an associate professor at Ohio University since 1958. A true avant-garde, Ethel Red has dedicated his life to art. He creates, he teaches, and he embodies an ethereal spirit that cannot be tied down by worldly definition. This is the life story of an artist who refuses to be defined. Okay, you ready? Can we start? Oh, well, you can start anytime you want. Okay, question one. Where and when were you born? Monroe, Michigan. Uh, 1930, of course, yes. Three sisters and uh, two brothers, all dead. One was murdered, my, my youngest sister. My two brothers, they became delinquents, and they were both sent to prison. Despite his challenged upbringing, Etheret attended the University of Michigan on both academic and athletic scholarships, and later became an officer in the Navy. So you went from student to teacher pretty quick. Yeah. You were arguably a co-founder of the whole school. It wasn't much when it, and what were you? What classes were you teaching at this point? Uh, many more than I'm teaching now. As a professor, his first class trip was to Africa, and it lasted several weeks. When he came home, his life had changed. So what happened when you came back from Africa? I got divorced. <laughs> Nobody would pay attention to me because I was, you know, what do they call those things? A pariah. A pariah is okay. the word I'm looking for, right? Home. After the divorce, Etherred was left without a home and took to living in his office until he discovered a piece of land. James Edward Leonard Eldridge was dead. Etherred Eldridge was born. And this is the second half of your life. This is the last half of my life. Right? <laughs> a lifelong devotee of William Blake, Etherred founded the Church of Golganusa a community of artists to which he led and delivered Blake-inspired teachings and sermons. Well, there's Golgotha, G-O-L-G-O-T-H-A. Well, what is that, do you know? Nope. It's the hill upon which Christ was crucified, way back when, well, Blake made it into Golganusa. So you decided to call this church the Church of Golganusa? I, I just called it Golganusa, but Golganusa. Every, others called it a church because we met on Sunday. Etherite's property became a magnet for creative minds from around the world and his guests include everyone from the Grateful Dead to the Maharishi. Blake's impact on Etherred was not only communicated to his followers at Golganusa, but was emblazoned on the walls of the Ohio University campus. Four murals have been completed during his tenure, with each iteration reflecting a unique and varied style. The, the first was uh was the, the great one. And what was it about the first one, or what did it do? It was just a conglomerate. Etherred's murals reflect the way he teaches, a mixture of stream of conscious lectures and structured thought. What was the, the name of the class you Autopsy art for a while, right? And an autopsy cannot be performed without a cadaver. So all those, that whole damn horde of people was the cadaver, wink, wink. Now this is a mystery too, isn't it? And what's left at the end? The taste of ashes in your mouth and no ash in your hand? Having gone so far as to admit frankly that you're a nobody right up front? To the guy to whom you're making the appeal who's got to be a somebody, somebody at least other than you. We spoke this week with Professor Eldridge of the art department. He's famous on campus for two things, the black and white mural under Siegfried Hall and for winning the vote for easiest class at OU four years running. Every day he would bring in um, paper plates that mm -hmm. he, like he wrote his notes on paper plates. And for our final, which was the only test we had, if you could call it that, we were just all passed out um, a paper plate and we were to put whatever we wanted on it and turned it in. And what did you get in, in your class? An A, I think. How do you define an A plus or an F? Do you fail your students? How do they pass this class? I don't. I don't. I don't define plusage at all. And surplusage, you can go. It can go to hell too. Take it from the top, okay? What? Huh? So you? what's what's the song? It's the song. Is, are you? I can't go. <laughs> I'm not going to get there this year. I'm housebound. Do you understand? I'm laid up. All I want is some rosemary, thyme, and mint. Oh, are you going to the fair? Bring it back for me. Would you please, the help? And what's your plans for the future? Are you ever going to retire? I am the future. <laughs>
can you see yourself not coming here anymore? I can see myself not getting away from myself. Do you I mean, teach classes here? Of course. Well, it ain't work. It's a calling. Well, I'm from I'm from Rome, Rome. I'm just a Roman Roman man. Huh? I'm just a rambling gambling guy. That's what. It has nothing to do with anything. I wasn't born. I know. I'm denying that I was ever born. So I don't have to be born again and again and again and again. Not important. 